When something is important enough, you do it even though the odds are not in your favor. How much of your personal fortune have you poured into this? A uh, hundred million dollars. A hundred million dollars yes. into something that you did not believe would work at the beginning. Yes. When I was young, I I, uh, I didn't really know what I was going to do uh, when I, when I got older. Eventually, I thought that the idea of inventing things would be would be really cool, and. Uh, the, the reason I thought that was because um, I, I read a quote from Arthur C. Clarke which said that a, um, a sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. And, and that's really true. Um, if, you if you go back, say, 300 years, the things that we take for granted today uh, would be, you'd, you'd be burned at the stake for. Um, you know, being able to fly, um, that's crazy. Uh, being able to see over long distances, being able to communicate, having um, effectively with the internet uh, a, a, a group mind of sorts, um, and having access to all the world's information uh, instantly from almost anywhere on the earth. Um, this, is, this is stuff that, that really would be magic, or would be considered magic um, in, in times past. In fact, I think it actually goes beyond that because there are many things that we take for granted today that weren't even imagined. In, in times past. They weren't even in the realm of magic. So it, it actually goes, goes beyond that. So I thought, well, you know, if, if, if I can do some of those things, basically if, if, if I can advance technology, then that, that's like magic and that would be really cool. I always had sort of a slight existential crisis because I was trying to figure out what, what does it all mean? Like what's the purpose of things? And um, I came to the conclusion that if, if we can advance the the, the, the knowledge of the world, if we can do things that expand the scope and, and, and scale of consciousness, then we're better able to ask the right questions and become more enlightened, and, and that's really the only way forward. So, so I, I, I studied uh, physics and business because I figured in order to do a lot of these things, you, you need to know how the universe works and you need to know how, how, how the economy works. Um, and you also need to be able to bring a lot of people together to work with you to create something because it's very difficult to do something as, as an individual if it's, if it's a significant technology. If you consider two futures, one where uh, we are forever confined to Earth until eventually something terrible happens, or another future where we are out there on many planets, maybe even going beyond the solar system, um, I think that second version is incredibly exciting and inspiring and there need to be reasons to get up in the morning. You know, life can't just be about solving problems. Otherwise, what's the point? There's got to be things that people find inspiring um, and make life worth living. I actually think I, I, think I fear, feel fear quite strongly. Um, so it's not as though I just have the absence of fear. I, I feel it quite strongly. Um, but there, there are just times when something is important enough, that you believe in it enough, that you, you do it in spite of the fear. When starting SpaceX, I thought the odds of success were less than 10%. Um, and I just accepted that actually probably I would just lose, lose everything. Um, but that maybe we would make some progress. If we could just move the ball forward, even if we died, maybe some other company could pick up the baton and, move, and keep moving it forward. Um, so that would still do some good. Um, yeah, same with Tesla. I thought you know, the odds of a car company succeeding were extremely low. I think a successful entrepreneurs probably come in all sizes, shapes, and flavors. So even if you're, if you're the best of the best, there's always a chance of failure. So I think it's important that you really like whatever you're doing. Um, if, if you don't like it, life is too short. If you like what you're doing, you think about it even when you're not working. I mean, you're, it'll just, it, it's, it's something that your mind is drawn to. Um, and, and if you don't like it, you, you just really can make it work, I think. Coming to North America was my best idea because okay. I think these things would not have been accomplished um, in a, you know, almost anywhere else. It's really hard to start a company. You know, whenever I'd read books in South Africa, it would seem like the cutting edge of technology was in Silicon Valley and so I, that's when I wanted to come and I wanted to move, move to this mythical place. Looking ahead, make, I'd like to see um, humanity go beyond Earth and have people on Mars, that would be really great. What I'm trying to do is, is to make a, a significant difference in, in spaceflight and, and, and help make spaceflight accessible to, to almost anyone. 
and I, I, I would uh, hope for as much support in that direction as we as we can receive.